and you want the putter 25 negative 0.5.5 straight putter and I'll throw it straight at it and see what happens it's good available soon ish look at this gorgeous brand new tee pad we are out here in webster massachusetts at Webster Fishing Game and I heard they spend a lot of hours on this beautiful handmade bench and a little paver tee pad that I like the shape to it and I'm here with the current and reigning amateur world champion Paul Kranz you've known him you've seen, you've seen him before and we are on his home course kind of sorta and we're just gonna play a scoring round no retakes serious tournament mode disc golf what are your odds of beating me? Uh, pretty high. Why? So I average around 10 under here. Which you I think, think is I'm good. overrated? Uh, no. You think I'm underrated? Yes. <laughs> there's, there's only one answer for me. Oh, okay, good. What's the biggest weakness in my game? Um, forehands. Thank you. Yeah. What about strength? Uh, Mid-range putter shots. Oh, I like it. All right, here we go. Enjoy, good luck. We're playing for, what are we playing for? I don't know. Big Mac? Yes. Okay, bye. Hole one is about 230 feet. We're in the woods, it is a bit breezy. But something not done often enough on my vlog channel is just a straight up round of disc golf. Good shot, that's parked, okay. right? Yes. Well, with a much more tricky straight shot. But like I said, that's his strength. Parked. I hope that sat. That I, better sat. I think it did. It's for birdie and one tapping. And I will show you what happened to mine real quick. Story of my life. Slid OB. Gotta love throwing good shots and being barely off. Paul with a one stroke lead already after one. Early released it. So bad it's good, kind of. Earlier they just went. Both shots work, especially when it goes in. Oh my gosh. Birdie putt, just outside the circle, I would guess. And I think I'm parked. That is a great hit. Nice job, Am World Champ. Here. No Am no longer. Congrats on the new rating, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, good achievement. I'll display it right here. Look at this guy. 10, 17? Yep. Wow. Tap and birdies are preferred. Yeah, good putt, good putt. About 300 feet. And this tree right here has a little aim target, but that's the one to miss. All two through two. Local, no surprises. And that is park. Thank you very much. Pretty successfully. A little high, too floaty. About 45, 40 feet for the tap in birdie. Great putt. To go three for three. Not bad. 330 up the hill. Bit of a blind shot. And a turnover, so definitely not easy. That'll be like 40 feet? Yeah, about 30 feet. If I fought through, it should be about 35, right? Maybe. About 40 feet. Yeah. Barely snuck it in. Four for four. Oh, just. I wonder how long you can keep up the streak. Basket is. You can kind of see it right there. Local guy chooses forehand. Looks pretty good. Is that parked again? Yes. Wow. Pretty good. Great shot. I think I'm closer. Oh boy. You're closer. Congrats. Haha. <laughs> I'll pick yours up. Alright. It's a gimme. 
Nice disc, by the way. Where did you yeah. get it? I got it from a guy named Simon Lizotl. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, this is a par four hole six, kind of a hyzer around this corner. And then should be a pretty straight up upshot if you hit the gap. And I just had four birdies in a row and I'm still Bob. Back up the box. Looks like Simon's getting a bit more aggressive than I did. Going with the Crave. Is it paying off? That ended left, it will be fine. Not sure. And the par four goes down this beautiful little lane. After a successful hyzer gap it, you have this left, about 250. How short is that? Probably like 40. 40, uh-oh. Yeah. Small gap to throw through. A lot of branches in the way. And he made it work. About 30 feet. I'll take it. The wind is howling here and this is right around 40 feet maybe just over oh he is just six in a row Stay up. no why is the second putt always so easy well seven is right up there don't roll sit Oh, oh. Always, always. That is a major mess up. Somewhere through there. Oh, it rolls down the hill. Oh, no. Dang, dropped. Poor birdie. Keep the streak alive. Oh God. That's a miss. Swing and a miss. This is a mind cut. No problem for young people. Bogey par. Bogey? 300 feet left to right. Shapes up for a nice forehand. Oh, no skip. How That's close is that? Uh, probably like 40 left, and okay. it's a death putt. That could be so bad, it's okay. Might be. <laughs> 40 foot death putt, just like he predicted. Oh, that's what I call it a scaredy putt. <laughs> Welcome to hole nine. Another 300 foot turnover. One of my favorite holes on this course. Oh no. He says there's a chance. Oh no. I need a promo. We're gonna try this new putter, the Watt. If I throw it dead straight, it should just hover to the right. Do you see that all the way? Yes. It looked the most neutral flying disc ever. It's just brrrr. Should be zero fade. <laughs> yeah, so that was the new Watt which uh, I would put right between proxy and spin. The spin is very understable. The proxy is pretty much neutral. And I would put the watt into straight to understable with almost no fade. Might make the bag. Rambling to save par. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, blurry basket effect. Good shot. Go in. How'd that miss? Great putt. One over in the last four holes. That is not very encouraging. 
This is just attaching the par. Front nine recap uh, out of the mouth of the Amwell Jam. Amazing start and then got cold. So got to pick it back up. Back nine, I need to attack. I'm three back, right? Yeah, I'm three down, Paul six after a hot start. I think the back nine is a bit trickier though, so stroke swings. Nine holes. This is actually a tricky little par four. You can attack and go for eagle, or you just do that perfectly and have a 150 foot upshot. Yes. There is OB. See that rock wall there? You gotta clear it. Oh! Right there. Maybe the worst spot you can be if not OB. Perfectly executed. Two feet away. Back on the birdie train. Yeah. Paul has maybe 120 left. Easy jumper. Oh, spit out danger. I don't want to call it a tester, but it's not. I'm so parked, don't have to put. Can't see the basket. The basket is about there. Definitely a good forehand hole. You gotta go way right. Oh. The local hates it? Yes. I'm gonna give this a try. Because technically, it should be the perfect disc. It's 350, so I gotta throw it pretty hard. Definitely reachable though. Too straight. I don't know these holes well enough. I thought it was good, not good? <laughs> I think it's too long straight. Oh, okay. From 70 feet. Oh, that was a bad putt. Almost the best break ever, and then really unlucky spit out. Yeah. <laughs> Almost worked. Nope. I'm at the par, and I am right there for par. Blind shot over the hill and then it kind of like flattens out and you just want to finish really straight. Oh no. Doors open. Doors open! Oh, it's going to be the left side in the crap. Why? Maybe touching 200. Hit the stump. Not sure. I don't know if it skipped or not. Dang. Don't putt with a bag on. Oh, shout out. Unless you want that promo. Oh. Went for the dad oh, wait. putt. Speaking of bags, I think everyone should uh, be excited for something coming soon. -ish. Maybe. And there's OB. About five feet right. long of the basket. And Paul, another right. mistake. Awesome. How short is this? 200 feet? Yeah, it played shorter. Give no. me a break, dude. We're kind of back here in no man's land a bit, and this is gonna be a about a hundred foot jump putt. Oh. Might be long OB. I almost made it. And it's OB. Oh! So Paul's OB in two, tap in bogey. I have this absolute death 80 footer. <laughs> what do you do now? Do I run to try to get two strokes? Um, or accept that I get no strokes? Or do I lay up and take one stroke and then we have a two stroke lead with five holes to go? Paul, you, what's the move? And we'll champ advice you here. You definitely just lay up. Lay up? The last three holes are score swing. All right, lay up, but I'll go for it now, and if it goes in, it counts. <laughs> sure thing. Too bad. Shout out to the anode. Oh, tried to miss it. For the first time this round, Simon has the box. Oh, I finally got the box. Two <laughs> strokes, hole 14. This is a shorty, 200 feet, blind. I'll be again like 10 feet from the basket. Probably about like three feet. Looks pretty parked to me. Played it on the super safe side and I think at like 20 feet. 
I didn't realize that all the back nine was blind shots, so this video might be interesting. Oh, blocked it like a pro. How's that, good? Yeah, about 10 feet. All right, I just thought of something. I'm not sure if the vote is still open, but next week at the Des Moines Challenge, they're doing like a car bounty ace race, and you need to vote for whoever you want to compete in that. I don't know how many are going to get in, but if the vote is still open, I'll leave a link in the description and please give me your vote so I get a chance to throw an ace and win a car. That'd be so epic and I would do something nice with it, I think. Appreciate it. Vote for Lazat. Nice birdie. Feels like my first birdie in like an hour, honestly. This is another tapping birdie. Four holes, two strokes. I'm not allowed to comment on that. Turn. You popped in my backswing. I am, yeah, that's very rude of me. Oh, same shot? Wow. Same thing. Yikes. 150 left. Oh, it'll be short? Oh no! 10 feet. Oh, 10 feet. Simon unfortunately went in the water. <laughs> Way back there. Should have an easy out though. Yeah. A little bit of a tester, but he'll get that. Oh boy. I just double bogeyed that hole. That makes it four strokes with two holes, three holes to go. I think we answered the question if I can beat the Ambo Champ on his own course. <laughs> hole 16 is a nice one though. A little downhill. Basket is right there. It's just a straight shot. 312. Oh, finally a good shot. It's been a while. Yeah. Nice. Are we at elevation or something? <laughs> it's kind of been the whole round for him. But he capitalized. He made the putt. This is what a 25 foot tester looks like. In the woods. Oh no! Did he do that on purpose? Alright, two holes to go. Three strokes. I'm breaking out a new disc in my bag right now. This is the Electron Runway. Which just feels so good. This feels exactly... Like I don't want to mix up brands here, but I used to throw away back in the day like DX Rock was my favorite disc ever. That's what this feels like. It's more overstable, but the feeling is there. All right, 250. I need Paul to go OB and I need an ace, basically. He almost got it. That was right between the tree and the basket. A foot. Oh, man. He turned it over too much. It's gone. Hit a treat. No, super safe. Oh, that is a pro result. Yes. Nice birdie on 17. Almost aced Erased it though. my double. And three stroke lead, last hole. Watch out. Sorry. I'm Save glad you didn't see that. <laughs> this is a clinic in gap hitting. Oh, kidding. Kidding. Should be very easy up and down. Go in. Why didn't that focus? Oh, there we go. That was rude wind. It was like barely off and going 30 long. Good putt though. I par poured and I shot five under. You have a tap in for eight under. Congratulations, you win. Thank you. A Big Mac. <laughs> you can get that whenever you please. 
Ah, oh, what a terrible lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. Paul Kranz, local superstar. We know it. I had no chance. Basically from the first hole. And enjoy the shot of the day. As always, like and subscribe. Vote for me in the description. And I'll see you at the next one. I think I'm vlogging with Casey White tomorrow. Boys are back. Peace.